welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do some testing with the fibre laser. Over the last few months I've had quite an increase of people interested in the fibre laser. So the source laser inside here is a Rakus uh, laser which is a pretty good name in the, the world of fibre lasers uh, and it's a 30 watt. One of the number one questions I get asked is how do you judge the distance uh, between the underside of the lens and the, the work uh, to get the best effect? Well, the ruler on here is just a rough guide, okay? I mean, you can, you can get it exact, but um, the best way to get the laser focused because it has a focal distance okay but the best way to do it is by eye and I'll show you what I mean but first of all I'm just going to give you a very short demonstration of how to use the EasyCAD program um, I'm just going to do a little test CAD so I can show you how to focus your fiber laser. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw a simple little test CAD. So we're going to get the square drawing tool, come to the middle here and just draw a square like that and it'll actually snap to the center of the uh, air, work area. And oh it's actually 12, 12 millimeter is fine, that'll, that'll do. Uh, it's only a test. Now we need to if I didn't do anything else here, right, it would just try to draw a square line. So we need to fill this area in, which is called hatching. Hatching is just really drawing very, very close together lines to fill this area in. So we come up here to the hatch button. Um, this, no, there's several different, should we say, tracks that it will hatch okay it'll it'll go round and round in a square it'll go uh it, like uh, back and forth left to right left to right but it will keep the laser going as it goes from sort of line a to line b if you click it again it does like a, a dotted line and again uh it just does it one direction in other words the laser will fire from left to right then turn off jump to the next line, turn on and go left to right and so on. Uh, this one the laser will fire from left to right, turn off, move up and then fire from right to left and so on. But for this little test guide uh, I find this is, this is better for us. This is actually set up perfect. So this is the step over line or track is going to be 0 0.01 of a millimeter which is pretty small or pretty coarse actually for a fiber laser we don't want it to mark the outline we just want it to sort of continually um, mark this square in the middle although it's a test card it really doesn't matter whether we, we map the contour or not everything there is okay that's the only thing we need to do it's pen number one so we're going to okay that and you can see it's colored this in now because it has hatched it as a rule of thumb i always press apply anyway this is where people get confused now we've got We've got black layer, which this is a black layer. We've got black layer turned on. And we don't want to use the default parameters. It's not going to be enough uh, to, to do what I want to do. <laughs> uh, it shows up better if I, if I really ramp the power up. So we're going to put it up to 99%. Uh, frequency hertz now we'll go into we'll go more into hertz over the next few videos and because it's all too complicated 
uh, to uh, actually start explaining about it now at the moment. Other than 20 hertz, which is the lowest that this um, fiber laser will operate at, uh, it goes from, um, let me see, 20 up to 80 hertz. But 20 hertz is the most powerful, shall we say, the, the, the power rating and the hertz go hand in hand. So the 20, the lower the frequency, the more powerful the laser is going to be. So uh, we'll just leave it at that for the moment. Don't worry about any of these here. That's all we need to do. So now we'll um, focus the laser. Okay, so I've got the laser turned on. As you can hear the fans blowing in on the internal of the laser. And I'm just going to turn the, um, the red uh, dot on. Now that shows me exactly where it's going to be. And I can tell you that's bigger than 12 millimeters, so it is out of focus. Um, so I'm going to just turn that off. So it just gives me an indication where the laser is going to fire. I'm going to turn the laser on and I've got this on continuous. And you see it doesn't appear to be doing much at all. And it's not because it's out of focus. So what I'm going to do is go up first of all. Now that's making the situation worse. So I'm coming down gradually, coming down. See it's getting brighter, coming down even further, coming down, it'll be coming into uh, focus in just a second. So I'm bringing the head down, okay so the laser's just started so I just took it back up again, bringing it down, bringing it down, laser's starting to get into focus now. And that's the laser actually removing material now. And the brighter that gets, okay, so it's out of focus, in focus. Okay, I just actually videoed this and to find that the the camera had just gone all out of focus because it uh, the laser put it out of focus. Okay, so this at the moment is out of focus. And that's just the tr little track uh, red laser that's uh, showing me exactly where the laser's going to fire. So I'm going to, I, I think you can just see the end of the laser here. Okay, this is the underside of the lens. So all right, I'm taking it, taking it down, taking it down. And you'll see the laser begin to fire on the material. A couple of sparks there. Coming down a bit further, a bit further. Okay, the laser is now starting to come into focus. And it's now in focus. Okay, the brighter that laser on the material, the more in focus it is. So I'm going past it. Okay, so it's gone out of focus, so it's now too low. So I'm going to fetch it back up into focus. So it gets bright, bright, dim, bright, dim. So I'm just raising it up and lowering it down. So you pick a point halfway in between. I'm only moving this up and down uh, a couple of millimeters. But that now is perfectly in focus. And I hope the camera's in focus. All you can actually see is a bit of a blur there, I know. But I think you can detect that. Um, the laser is actually doing something. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going I'm to zoom out and I'll, so you can see how far I am actually turning that wheel. All right. Okay, so I think you can uh, you can see that. All right, so I'm going to raise it up, and you see it's gone dull, and all you get is the red marker uh, di uh, diode laser and I'm, gonna, I'm bringing it down, bring it down, you can see how much I'm turning the wheel, not much laser's beginning to fire on the material at that point there, what nine o'clock 
and half a turn and it's nearly in focus. There are one full turn from where it started to come into focus. I think that's a three millimeter. And if you keep on going down, it's going out of focus again. All right, so it's in focus there. That's 100% in focus now on this particular piece of material. So you can see I'm going to move this very much at all. So from out of focus up, it's about two and a half to three millimeters, and out of focus down the same amount. So you have a focal distance. You know, the focal distance now you could measure it and you would know exactly what it is. Um, but personally, uh, I, I just do a rough measurement uh, and get it close. Uh, but this is how I get it accurately 100% on focus.